Hey guys, Kieran here again, and in today's lesson we're going to be taking a look at the song With Ears to See and Eyes to Hear by Sleeping with Sirens. So this will be an acoustic arrangement of the song, it'll use some easy beginner chords and also some easy strum patterns as well. So just before we get started, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot more videos on my channel. Uh, I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos in the future as well. Um, so yeah, stick around to uh, catch those. So to play this song, you will not need a capo. I know I've got mine on the second fret, but my guitar, like always, is tuned a whole step down. So I need my capo on the second fret to make it sound like it's in standard tuning without a capo. But you guys won't need a capo, and it'll sound just like this. So this song will use four chords altogether. Got an E major chord. An A chord is an A sus2. So if you know an A chord, just take off the finger which is on the second fret of the second string. This B power chord shape. And this C sharp power chord shape as well. So these power chord shapes, you'll put the B, you'll put your first finger, second fret, fifth string, and then third and fourth finger go on the fourth fret of the fourth and third string. Leave the highest two strings open and mute the sixth string. That's the B. And the C sharp will just be two frets up. Uh, there is one other chord which you just use once in the chorus, just uh, briefly. And that's this uh, C power chord shape. So when you're on the B, just move it one fret and it'll sound just like that. So there's two uh, main strumming patterns for this song. Um, there's a few of the strumming patterns here and there, but I'll touch on those when I get to them. So the main strumming pattern will sound like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So that'll be the main strumming pattern, which will be strumming pattern one. And then the second strumming pattern is exactly the same as that strumming pattern. It's just in the middle. Uh, there'll be a few mutes, uh, three mutes that you've got to put in. So there's a down up down in the middle of that strum pattern where you put a few mutes in there. But in the description where I put the strum pattern, where you need to do the mutes, I'll put the brackets uh, and that's where you need to do it. But I'll play it uh, now just so you can just uh, hear what that'll sound like. So I'll just play off a chord. Um, so this will be strum pattern one. And then strum pattern two will be. So you just put in three mutes in the middle of there. Okay, getting into the song now. For the intro, you play a C sharp for one strum pattern in length, to an A for one strum pattern in length, to a C sharp for one strum pattern in length, back to an A. And for these chords, for the intro chords, you're just doing single strum. And that would just be the intro, then you get into verse 1. So verse 1 I've split into two sections, so I'm just going to call it verse 1 and verse 2. So verse 1 will be a C sharp to an A, C sharp to an A. So it's just like the intro, but this time you're using strum pattern 1 uh, for each chord. Then when you get to verse 2, you change... Uh, from strumming pattern 1 to strumming pattern 2 but the corporation is exactly the same so C sharp to A C sharp to A then when you get into the chorus you go back to strumming pattern 1 and the corporation will be uh, C sharp for a whole strumming pattern A for a whole strumming pattern an E major for a whole strum pattern, B for half a strum pattern, and C for half a strum pattern. And when I say half a strum pattern, in the description I'll put a slash in strum pattern one, and that's where you need to change from the B to the C. And then that chord progression goes around two times for the chorus. And then after the chorus, you get to a little interlude section, and this will use strum pattern two. And just like the the verse in the intro, it's C sharp to A, C sharp to A. 
And on that last day, you do something different with the strumming, but I'll just play that uh, and then I'll just explain it, so. <laughs> At the end, you just do uh, four down hits and then get into the next verse. So I should uh, add that verse two. Uh, no, I said that it goes C sharp to A, C sharp to A. Uh, you actually play that chord progression two times, two times through, um, just in case I uh, confuse you there. Um, all the chords and all the strum patterns will be in the description, uh, just in case you miss anything there. So what I'll do now, I'll play through the intro, the verse 1, verse 2, chorus, and that little into section. And this is a few little tweaks in verse 2 with the strumming pattern, and I'll just touch upon those after I've played it. So it should sound like this. So just going back to verse 2, so on the very last A of verse 2, you go to a slightly different strum pattern, which I'm going to call strum pattern 3, so it should sound like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So that is literally just for that last A on verse 2. Uh, like I say, all the chords, all the strum patterns will be in the description. So after the little interlude section, you go to verse three, and verse three will be exactly the same as verse two, uh, chord progression wise, uh, length wise as well. So you, there is um, on the actual record, there is a bit where you does a single hit, which you can do if you want, but I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. I'm just going to stick with verse one pattern two for that, and then you get into the next chorus, which will be exactly the same as the previous chorus. And then from there, you get into the first section of the bridge. So this first section of the bridge uh, literally just uses um, the C sharp. So it'll be four times on the C sharp. And that'll be using the strum pattern four. So the strum pattern four is just down, up, down, down. And you play that four times. So when I play through, um, you'll just be able to get um, an idea of... of how long you uh, you stay on each of these chords. Okay, so getting into the second part of the bridge, uh, you go to a new progression, which is an E, to a B, to C sharp, then A. And this progression you play around five times. So what you can do, you can either play strum pattern one throughout this whole section of the bridge, or you can mix it up a little bit, so for the first half you can just do down, uh, palm muted downs. And that'll be eight um, a down hits for each chord. And when you get to the A, you can open it up a little bit as well, so you can go...
can do the palm mute for the first three chords, then when you get to an A, you can go and strum pattern one, uh, or you can do strum pattern one for the whole thing. Um, so the first four times through, you're either doing the palm muting or strum pattern one, and then on the fifth time through, you just do single hits on all the chords. chord of the song is this A. So what I'll do now, I'll just play through the bridge section uh, and then just do a slight recap. So it should sound like this. So come down now Come down from your tower now Come down now From your tower oh. So in that second uh, bit of the bridge, like I say, you can do palm muting, you can just do uh, open down strums, you can use strum pattern one, you can mix and match, uh, whatever you feel uh, you feel sounds good to you. Um, so I think I've covered in everything there, uh, all the strum patterns, all the chords will be in the description. Uh, if you've got any questions about this tutorial, uh, please feel free to ask them below. I might have missed uh, something. Um, so I'll try and answer them as quick as possible. Uh, if you have any requests as well, put them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, there's a lot more content on my channel and I've also got a lot more videos um, coming out in the future. So until next time, peace out.